one of the most difficult parts of being a parent is preparing your children to be independent and make decisions on their own. Let them make decisions before they are ready, and they can be lost to any number of bad decisions. If you hold on too long, though, and you don't allow them to decide for themselves, then they will be dependent on you and unable to survive on their own in a hostile world. As a general rule, the people closest to the situation are best positioned to decide it. That means the parents should be the ones making decisions for their children. Yes, there are situations where parents are not the best decision makers for their children. But shouldn't that be the exception, not the rule? In Missouri, an abortion may not be performed on a woman under the age of 18 without, as relevant here, the informed written consent of one parent or guardian. A minor may bypass this requirement by obtaining a court order granting the right to self-consent for mature minor or judicial consent for best interest minor. The state of Missouri included this idea of parental control over their minor child's medical treatment in their abortion laws. These laws require a minor get informed written consent from a parent or guardian before receiving an abortion or receiving a court order granting the child self-consent or judicial consent. Under what conditions can a court grant such a bypass? The juvenile court may then A, find the minor is sufficiently mature and grant the right to self-consent, B, find the abortion is in the best interest and give judicial consent, or C, deny the petition. This brings up a couple of questions. How can a court determine if a minor is sufficiently mature to grant the right to self-consent? 